Hey there survivors, welcome back to the channel, Beats here with you, and in this video I'm going to be showing you 4 cave locations in the lunar biome, 3 are buildable and 1 is not, I'm going to do them in order of what I think my favorite is, I'm going to save that one for last, if you guys enjoy the video, like and subscribe, let's get into it. So first cave location, I'll show you here, I'll pull up the map, we are at 24 by 15 and here's the map basically in the top corner so let's head inside see this one has a long tunnel through to get in here this is the cave that you cannot build in unfortunately I figured I would do that one first get it out of the way it still is a cave uh, you can get some ravagers in here if you wanted to and this cave also has feather lights if you're looking for feather lights I'll see if I can spot one around yeah there's one right there flying around up there doing his business there is a glitch in here as well, some metal nodes. This is the back of the cave. As you can see, if you run through this way, see the Ravagers are chasing me. There is water in here as well. And again, this is a non-buildable cave, so I would say my least favorite, but I figured I'd put it on there. It is a cave in the lunar biome. So let's head over to cave number two. Okay, here we are at cave number two. This is one of the entrances. This one does have three entrances in and out, so it would be difficult to defend. So, cords 22 by 26, and on the map, basically top middle, and let's head in here. Let me show you. So this is one of the entrances. Make your way through the cave. Goes this way. I'll show you a part of the cave first, and then I'll show you the next entrance in and out. So here is another entrance. This is much wider as you can see so this one would be tough to defend so I'll take you through this way so as you can see Rexes can come in this way this cave does contain bulb dogs so if you're looking for some bulb dogs this would be the place to get it and here is the main cave structure and this is all buildable in here and you got water which would be nice if you wanted to build in here this one would be tough to defend oh there's a feather light in this one too I thought they were cave specific but there's definitely bulb dogs in here too. I've seen them around. Maybe I can catch a glimpse of one while I'm looking around. I know there is bulb dogs in here though. And this is the back of the cave here. And then I'll show you the third little entrance. Oh, there's a little bulb dog down there. Right, little seekers need to leave me alone. All right, and this is the third entrance in and out. It's a tiny little entrance, difficult to see from the outside but it is a way in and out of the cave. So this one would be a tough one to defend, but it is a cave location nonetheless, and you can get some bold dogs and things you might need in here. So let's head back, and we will head over to cave location number three. Okay, here we are at cave location number three. Show you on the cords, so 40 by about 26, and it's about in the dead center of the map, just maybe a little south. Pull that up just so you can see. This is a very large entrance, but it is defendable, I think, pretty well if you close this off. There is a second entrance in this one. So I would say it's my second to favorite cave, uh, I would say. Um, there is water in this one too, and the entire area is buildable. There is a glitch in here, some metal nodes. Check around, and I'll show you the second entrance. This is a much thinner cave entrance here opens up to this area here so this one will be a great one to defend I think with the two entrances it makes it a little bit more manageable than the last one that had three so if you wanted to use this as a base spot and this one does spawn uh, let's see I think baby shine horns and also feather lights let's see if I can see one around I don't see any but yeah, this is cave location number three, and we will head over to my favorite cave location on the lunar biome, cave location number four. Okay, here we are at cave location number four. So 48, let's say, by 30. And on the map, it's far south in the lunar biome. And this is my favorite cave by far if you wanted to build in. There's only one entrance, and it's just this smaller entrance here. And there is a long cave too, which you could defend really nicely. And it opens up into this huge, massive area. Uh, there are 
Oh, there's a little drone in there, a little attack drone. I might have to take him out with a shotgun real quick. Boom. One hitter, quitter. Yeah, and as you fly through here, this one definitely has shine horns in it. And you could even build a little structure up here, do breeding down here, tons of water. There is a glitch in here, some obsidian nodes, metal nodes, some good stuff for sure. This is by far my favorite cave. And I'll take you on a flight. Oh, I just heard a shine horn. Where is it? <laughs> What's it doing? I gotta hear it. Oh, there it is. Look at him. Level 25 shine horn. Nice. So, yeah, I can fly you throughout this cave. So, here's the back of the cave here. So, no additional way in and out. No little nooks and crannies. I made sure to check around that you can't get in and out of this any other way except for that one entrance. So I'll take a little flight around. There's nothing up top either where you can get in through the top or anything like that. So I can take you back out front here. So yeah, this is the way in and out. The only, one way in, one way out. You gotta love that for a good cave. And the fact that it opens up into this, such a big area. So if you wanted to live on the lunar biome, this is definitely the place to be. You can build throughout the entire thing, no building restrictions. Definitely an amazing cave. So like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy the content. New content creator here, so any help would be greatly appreciated. And as always, keep on surviving, and I will see you guys in the next one.